Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Okay, here we go. Alright. One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. So oh, she was angry at uh, Hyundai. Want you in? more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies, glaring though they may have been. Mm. Wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. The mustache? You never would have guessed. One took great care to alter one's features uh, oh, yeah. and select the appropriate attire. Only after meticulous scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu In. As mm. one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> One was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? Hold a minute. Find the truth. I like special effects. Yeah, we are definitely memory secret. I do also like how the end kill the outfit going reacting to uh, an elemental reaction or something. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another matter, if you are amenable. Even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters, monsters is 
hardly that complicated of a concept uh, to remember. This to think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. <sighs> Said godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Juan was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. <laughs> nice. In the end, Juan was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air, and one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. Jianyun is actually Jianyun is actually great mom. The drills. They're trying to break area. So Jianyun's defeated all the monsters by. Neglected to recount the absurdities of that <laughs> tale. That's, um, yeah, that's Louis Harbor. There you have entrance field. There. Yeah, one mineral over here. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. <laughs> Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. When one asked you why, <laughs> Apparently, you believed that one could not possibly be a true Adeptus, because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body, to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. 
You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other covering. <laughs> Wow, at their color, her silver and white, or uh, to powder, silver and white. Is <laughs> for sure you? Be reassured that it was a true adeptus. It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Hmm. <sighs> one owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, one wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who lived through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> have you any further inquiries? Master, I... I must ask, if you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? Yes, she wanted you to experience it for yourself. Experience life for yourself. And though she looked far and uh faith in the shadows are out of view for you to leave haunted yeah gave you the life you wanted one has never regarded your action as a mistake it was a simple choice nothing more when it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, mm -hmm. when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish, yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Hmm. You and I. <sighs> One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. 
Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? Is there a no way? Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> Not long. Transformation is imminent.